emergency provision. What it simply says is that the maintenance of peace and order must be balanced by the protection of life, liberty, and property, and the promotion of general welfare, so uh, which are essential for the enjoyment by all the people of the blessings of democracy. So uh, I know this because I'm one of the sponsors of this provision, and I was in the style committee, and we made sure that peace and order will be uh, placed as an aspiration alongside the protection of lives, liberty, and property, and the promotion of the general welfare. We have one final question from our audience here in this met. May I acknowledge uh, former UP President Jose Aguero. It's not really a question, uh, but uh, we have been groping for definitions, for practical definitions of uh, peace, and many have been offered. But one uh, practical definition of peace, uh, uh, which I have uh, learned, uh, is this. It comes from Glenn Page, an American political scientist. And he says, uh, he talks of peace as non-killing. Maliwanag ito, walang patayan. It may be limited, but it's very precise. Uh, he, he talks about a non-killing society. A non-killing society, whether it's local or global, is one in which there is no killing of humans and no threat to kill. Walang patayan, walang pananakot na magpatay. No? no weapons designed to kill humans and no justification for using weapons to kill, and no condition of society that depend for maintenance, maintenance of the society or changing the society upon the threat or the use of force, or the use of lethal force, which is killing. Pag masutpo natin ang pamamatay, no? <laughs> killing, that will go a long, long way to achieving peace. But it's not just the killing itself, uh, lethal and, 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 and bad as that is, uh, immoral as that is, but the threats, even the threat of, of killing. So I thought I would venture this. This is a very specific. You want to measure peace in terms of non-killing. Let there be a, a census every year in every municipality. Which municipalities are reducing killing? or have eliminated killing, then we will know that uh, we are progressing towards peace. But I have a, if I may uh, take advantage of this, uh, A and I have been together, and Ambassador D, in um, promoting, uh, in, in examining this question of non-killing, in non-killing society, and whether it is possible in the Philippines. So if I may offer, uh, over 20 years, I have, I have uh, reflected on the meaning of peace. So I have synthesized uh, various meanings of peace, and with your indulgence, uh, let me contribute this. The indivisible peace that we seek. Peace is indivisible. That's why there are so many ramifications, and, and uh, we get tired almost of saying, um, it's so complicated. But in, I'll complicate it further. In unity with our people and all humankind, we seek a just and enduring peace, law and order, and mutual tolerance at home and around the world. We want an end to killing and maiming because of greed or creed, class or tribe, because the poor are weak and the strong are not just, or, whether, or for whatever reason or lack of it. But the peace we seek is much more than the absence of lethal force and physical violence. It is a non-killing world, devoid of threats to kill, torture, destroy, impoverish, and humiliate. It is the tranquil fruit of freedom, social justice, and human development. Under the rule of law, truth, and love, 
for one another, says our Constitution. It is a just and humane democratic society marked by respect and reverence for the life and rights of every human being and learning from all religions and cultures. It is the positive feeling people have about their safety and security as individuals and as members of their communities, local to global. It is the gratifying feeling of being in harmony with oneself, with fellow men and women and children, with nature and with God. And the empowering feeling of solidarity and cooperation with family, neighbor and nation, region and humankind. And finally, with God's grace, this is the indivisible peace we seek in our times and in the future as the caring, sharing, and democratic nation and world we hope and want to become. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Agueva. On behalf of the Centennial Lecture Series Committee, we thank our panel of reactors for their insightful views that they shared with us this afternoon. We would also like to thank the audience here in UP Diliman, as well as those in the regional campuses. Thank you for joining us today, and we hope we see you again in our next Centennial Lecture that will be held on Thursday, July 10 at 2.30 in the afternoon in this same venue, the NISMED Auditorium, UP Diliman. The lecture will be the second view from outside and will be delivered by Representative Satur Ocampo. Please rise for the UP Naming Mahal. Salama 
at sa inyong pagtuturo. Taglay niyo ang kausayan, taglay niyo ang karunungan, tinubog niyo kami sa kabutihan, sa Kami Kasaysayan Tumaloy sa pagulad Ng ating bahay 